Laura A. Grace here, the author of Dear Author, Letters from a Bookish Fangirl, Team Lines of Poetry Collection, and Finding God Anime Devotional for Tokus, which is free on a variety of platforms. I'll leave a link down below in case if you'd like to check it out. Happy Friday, my friends! I'm so, so excited that you're here. Today is a special video. As I shared this past Wednesday in my Top 5 Wednesday video about bookworm characters, I am doing my first ever manga collection video. I've been like nervously excited about this, but the reason I'm doing this is because we hit 300 subscribers! Ah, I'm still like so shocked. I found out this past Saturday and it has just been a whirlwind, an amazing venture with you guys. I started taking YouTube a lot more seriously this past January where I was like, I really want to focus on just creating more reviews and participating in Top 5 Wednesday because that was like a dream of mine many years ago because I think when I checked on my YouTube, like when I started, I think I joined YouTube like as a creator back in 2016 or 17. I first started out making fan-made book trailers for books that I was reading like actual novels and then it sort of transitioned into I started doing video reviews on the novels I was reading and eventually it transitioned again and here we are doing manga reviews. Earlier this year I started journaling or vlogging my manga creation journey of writing and publishing my upcoming manga, Gathering Faith. I put that on hold and I feel bad that I have not returned to do it again, but just because my manga sort of been at a standstill and I was like, I don't know how much content I can like produce without my manga being quite ready yet. But I did hear that it's supposed to be ready hopefully by the end of this year. So hopefully next year I'll officially be releasing it. So I sort of wanted to give like some background of I guess like my YouTube create creator history because it's just so surreal. It's so surreal. But thank you friends for being on this journey with me and just supporting this channel, supporting me with your comments, your love, your encouragement. You guys are just so awesome and I'm really, really thankful for YouTube and just the people I've met, the friends that I've made. You guys are just amazing and such a blessing to me. So I hope today that you enjoy this manga collection video. I don't know how to do this manga collection video, so I'm totally winging it, so totally bear with me. I was gonna ask for like suggestions or like what people like, but then I was like, oh, I'll get nervous if I don't do all of the suggestions given, because that's just me, guys. I've always been like that. So. Bear with me, but I hope ultimately that you guys have fun and let's jump in to my, oh wait, wait, before we jump in, I did do a manga count and if I counted correctly, because I got three new titles thanks to my friend Mariah Jane of Prince Freya, I now have a total of 370 manga titles and I look through to see how much of those I had read and it looks like I'm a little bit under half. It was 140 is what I had read. But saying that, I don't know if that was before I include like my whole family's manga collection. My kiddos don't have much manga, but I included my husband's three box sets of One Piece. So I don't actually know if that included that because I have not read those. And that's like what, like 60, 70 volumes of manga right there alone. <laughs> so anyway, so that's how much we have, 370 that I'm aware of. And yeah, I'm pretty excited because I started collecting manga, I wanna say last year. And then two years ago, I read my first like manga series, Library Wars right here. And it just sort of snowballed, I guess, ever since then. I know I've collected all, or gotten a lot of manga this past year, just in itself. But anyway, let's officially now jump in to this manga collection video. Okay, first up, I thought I would start start with my husband's One Piece manga because it's at the top of my bookshelf and I don't ever like really touch up there. As you guys can see, I do have some fun Funko Pop. Sokka fell and I was upset with him because he fell on my head this morning actually when I was trying to fix him. And I do have Katara, but her leg is broken thanks to my two-year-old, so Katara's not up there. But those are our three box sets. Those are technically my husband's, but he's always like, you can read them anytime. 
I still have my low-key goal of reading them by next year. And then when we come down here, I have a bunch of shoujo manga magazines, thanks to Maeve at Ever Reading. These were a birthday present from her last year, and that was or earlier this year, I mean, and I absolutely love them so much. And then we'll make our way down here, and I have my two Magic Knight Ray Earth box sets that I caught earlier this year because thanks to Shay Geeks Out, I read the Omnibus from our library and absolutely loved it so much. And I was like, I need the box sets. This is one of my recent, like, collecting thing, whatever you want to say, Takane and Hana. It is so good. I bought the first, no, I read the first volume and then I went and pre-ordered volume 18 and I've just been making my way through it. My friend was super kind and is buying me the volumes that I'm missing here. So I'm really excited to dive into that. I have Skip and Loafer, Beastmaster, volumes 1 and 2, Prince Freya, volumes 1 through 4, Volume 1, I actually bought and did a review recently on Beneath the Tangles, and then Volumes 2, 3, and 4, my friend Mariah Jane actually sent me, and I was so excited, even though, like, Volume 2 was like, I am not ready for this. And then I have Demon Slayer Volume 7. This I got from my uh, kiddo. We did a manga shopping video. I'll leave a link of that in the corner because it was so much fun, and he totally shocked me with getting Demon Slayer. I thought he was going to get me Haiku. We have Zoro. We also have Dobby, but I don't know where Dobby is right now, but that's Zoro. And then we'll make our way down here to the back. I have Volumes 1 through 8 of Honey So Sweet, an amazing series. I have volumes almost 1 through 30 of Kimi ni Toto Cage. You can see I'm missing volumes 2, 6, and 11. I have them ordered on Right Stuff, and supposedly, according to Books A Million, we should be getting a restock, and I'm so excited. I love Kimi ni Toto Cage. I have Clean Freak and then Kara Kuri Odette. Both of these were a gift from the manga sloth. I have really wanted to read Clean Freak for a long time now. And I was really excited when he sent me a copy because he got one in his, I think he ordered 50 $1 boxes from Right Stuff. And that was one of the ones he had gotten. And down here is Haiku, which I'm slowly but surely collecting. I'm really excited that I at least have volumes 1 through 14. I found volume 12, which has been out of stock everywhere, but I finally found it of all places at 2nd and Charles, and I was super excited. I plan to get volume 15 next week because Books A Million is saying it should be in restock then. So finishing that up, and I also have volume 42, but it's out on my desk. It's one of my favorite volumes, and I love the cover of Hinata on it. This is my kiddo's manga, Dinosaur Hour. I keep meaning to read it because he wants to do another manga video together. He said he really enjoyed this. Kuma 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 Bear, volume one of the light novel. I am still surprised how much I enjoyed this. I gave away my other volumes because I just realized I had them for over a year and just had not read them. <laughs> um, but I love volume one a lot. And then we have one volumes one through five of Kamomo Confisory. Fair to say that is complete, as well as Honey So Sweet and Kimini Toto K. This is another really fun series. And let's go down here to the back row. We have Sweet Rain, volumes one through three, which is also complete. This is like the only manga title that I know that is a very Christmassy set at Christmas story. So if you know of any other Christmas manga, let me know because last year I really want some Christmas manga, but I bought this in January and then I was just not motivated to come back and read it again. So I'm planning to read that this year. The omnibus versions of High School Debut, volumes 1 through 15. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I love this series a lot. Honey Mustard, volumes 1 through 3. I'm trying to get my hands on um, volume 4 before I start this. But I've wanted to read this. The first volume was a gift from the manga sloth as well. And it just seems like a really fun and interesting series. One Piece, Ace's Story, volumes one and two. This is the light novels. I absolutely love Ace. This is my husband's manga or light novels. But oh my goodness, I can't wait to read these because Ace is like my favorite character in One Piece. The Heiress and the Chauffeur, volumes one and two. I've read this series at least three times already, and I have not done the manga review. I eventually will, though. Bofuri, I don't want to get hurt, so I'll max out my defense. This is volume one of the manga. It's currently released, and I think volume two 
releases next month at the beginning of September. Golden Japanesque, a splendid Yokohama romance, volumes one and two. Another excellent one, I have volume three and four on Pruder at Amazon. The third one should be releasing, just kidding, it got pushed back, so it's releasing in October. Yuzu the Pet Vet, volume one. I have not read this, even though it's so cute, I got the art because I literally just fell in love with it at the store when a friend of mine came shopping with me. I need to read it, <laughs> I need to read it. The life-changing manga, I think of Tidying Up by Maria Kondo. I find her philosophies very interesting and I was like, well, I still have not read like the actual book, so I picked up the manga. Transformers Volume 1, I did a video, video review of this with my oldest kiddo. The art is awesome. If you get it, don't worry about the storytelling. It does not go in order, so it can be very confusing, but the art is just incredible. I would recommend it just for the art alone. I have the Omnibus of Kenshin. This was actually a gift for my husband for his birthday last year. My Hero Academia, volumes 20 through 23. This was also a gift for my husband. He wanted to know what happened after, goodness, I don't even know what season it was, but one of the seasons, he wanted to know what happened next. So I got him the next like titles of the manga, but he has not read them yet. This is also his Mobile Suit Gundam. I got this as a recommendation, or from a recommendation from the manga sloth. My husband really liked the art, but he has not finished it. I have volume one of the manga cookbook, which I keep meaning to like cook recipes of. It's very simplistic. I don't mean that in a bad way, but it's it's helpful and nice because you can actually buy the ingredients at like Walmart or a local grocery store. Serenity, Bad or yeah, Bad Girl in Town. This is actually a graphic novel. It is one of the first like Christian graphic novels I'd ever seen. I read it in high school. So I just picked it up again because I was like, oh, I remember reading this. It did not have the same effect, unfortunately, but I'm happy to have it on my shelf. This is Awakening, and this one, I cannot remember the name of it, but these are two graphic novels. Well, this one's a manga one-shot that was written by a very good friend of mine, C.S. Johnson. I love the art in the manga a lot. It's very good. This is another Christian manga, Shelter of Wings. I had seen it around a lot, but I still have not actually like picked it up and read it. Let's go down to the next shelf here. In this little corner we have, I was recurring as the villainous in an Otome game, but the boys love me anyway. Love, love, loved this book a lot. I do have a review coming. I filmed it, but I just have not scheduled it yet. But it's very good. Yona of the Dawn, Volume 1. This was a gift from Marg at Marg Reads Manga, and I was so thankful. I am on the fence if I want to let the manga finish and then start it, or if I want to just go ahead and start it now because I am just ready to experience the beauty of Yona and when everybody is talking about it. We have Snow White with the Red Hair, Volumes 1 through 14. Oh my goodness, I love this manga. This is definitely one that I'm letting it like finish and I like buy the volumes as they release and then just binge read this bad boy because oh my goodness, Zen is just amazing and I really, really enjoy that manga a lot. Very, very good. I have volumes one through seven of Accomplishments of the Duke's Daughter. I believe volume eight releases this December, this November. I have not read this one. I sort of got this because nobody was talking about it at the time that I got it. And now it's starting to gain some hype because the light novel recently released. And I'm glad, I'm, I, I'm genuinely glad because the story, what I've read so far is very good. And I've been hearing a lot of good things about it and glad that it's getting some attention. Next up, we have volumes 1 through 13 of Hatsu Haru, which is complete. I have read volume 1, and I absolutely loved it. It was so good. It was just had all the tropes that I love and really, really enjoyed it. I have not finished it yet just because I've been reading other things, but this is going to be, I think, next up on like my TBR to read pile, I guess you would say. And we'll come over here to the next shelf. Here we have my bigger manga titles over here. To kick us off, I have volumes six and seven of One Week Friends. I do not have the rest of the series because my library had it, and I bought six and seven because they didn't have that. Then I have volume one of Asadora. I picked this up when I went shopping with Marg at Marg's Read Manga. I am planning to read this here very soon because I've been seeing a lot of good things about it, and 
It just sounds like a really interesting manga to me. I have volume one of Perfect World, which this was the very first manga that like I did a review on this channel of. It's very different. I'm not ashamed of that video, but I was like, oh, I was like, this is so different than what I expected. So it, it's good though. I, I cried. I read that on 4th of July and cried so much that day. Volumes 1 through 3 of A Sign of Affection, one of the best mangas that are out right now, deserves all the hype and love. I love this series. I read it twice the same day that I get it because it's just incredible. Volumes 1 of two, one and 2 of Sayonara Football. This part is complete, I guess you would say. It's hard to say because there's other volumes that are out, but it's Sayonara Football, Farewell My Dear Kramer. I did not love Volume 3 quite as much as Volume 2. But Volumes 1 and 2 are everything. I really, really enjoyed this series. Topu GP Volumes 1 and 2. I picked this up because I love that it was about motorcycle racing and my dad used to be a motorcycle or drive a motorcycle. So I got this one for that reason alone. <laughs> volumes 1 through 5 of The Way of the House Husband, which is still ongoing. I love The Way of the House Husband. I know that there's not many people who love the anime, but I love the anime as well, just as much as the manga. I got the manga because of the anime, actually, and I just love it so, so much. This upcoming Sunday, they are doing, like, some of the live action part of the, like, anime, and I'm super pumped. Like, I have it written on my calendar. That's how excited I am. My Father is a Unicorn is a one-shot. Highly recommend. It's very, very fun. Volume 1 of Yowa Mushi Petal. I got this because it seems like it's a very popular sports manga. I have read a little bit of it, and I did enjoy what I read. Volumes 1 and 2 of The Girl with the Sanpaku Eyes. This is a colored manga, and I'm all on that colored manga bandwagon right now. I have not read this one because I want more volumes because they're so tiny. Play It Cool Guys, Volume 1 and 2. Definitely one of my favorite series. I absolutely love it so much, so much. This is one that I recently picked up, and that is Happy Kaneko's Killer Life. I've been hearing such good things, and I'm so glad because it was on my radar, and then I just didn't pre-order it for some reason, and then I saw it at Barnes & Nobles and like flipped through it and absolutely loved it. So really excited to read that one. Next up is Living Room Matsunaga-san, Volumes 1 through 3. Volumes 1 and 2 were a present from Margaret Reed's manga for my birthday this year, and I really, really enjoyed them. I have not read Volume 3. I think I'm sort of debating if I want to get some more of the volumes or what I want to do, but Volume 3 was so hard to find, and we actually found that when I was out shopping with her. Then we have Volumes 1 through 14, sorry, one, Volumes 1 through 14 of Waiting for Spring, one of my all-time favorite manga, and I have not finished it because I'm not ready for it to end. I have read Volumes 1 through 3, though, and that is a completed series. It's so, so good, so sweet. I absolutely love it. I have to finish it, but I'm like, if I don't finish it, then it won't end and it'll still be in my head. So maybe that sounds weird, but it's very, very good. For the next shelf over here, we have volumes one through four, That Wolf Boy is Mine, which is complete. Now they do have the two omnibus, the omnibuses with volumes one and two and then three and four. I'm hoping there's not extra content because I will be mad because after I got these, then the announcement went out. Anyway. <laughs> But it's a, it's a fun series. Then I have the uh, Ultimate Pirate Collection of Destiny's Hand, which is very good. It's like, if you like One Piece, but you're like, I do not want to commit to 97 volumes, then I would definitely recommend this because it's really good. And the whole series is for free digitally on Amazon. I have volumes 1 and 21 of Demon Slayer. I do have the box set pre-order because I love... Rengoku and I want volume 8 but I can't find it anywhere so my husband's like well let's just pre-order it because we all like it anyway so I only have those two because volume 21 my library didn't have it was gonna read it at my library and then I changed my mind so anyway then I have teasing master Takagi-san volumes 10 and 11 my library has volumes 1 through 9 I've read volume 1 but I have not finished it but this is like seems like such an underrated series I hardly ever hear anybody talking about the anime or the manga and I plan to fix that I'm like people need to know about because it, it was really fun and it's just a very light-hearted series or at least in volume 1 it was I have volumes 1 and 2 of Backstage Prince and I must thank Mae for this because 
when she sent me the shoujo magazines, I actually got backstage prints because of the magazines. I loved what I had read and wanted to own them. And it's a fun series. I don't always love the girl and her actions, but I really like the dynamics of the romance and whatnot. It was a good time. Next up, we have Library Wars Love and War, Volumes 1 through 15, which is complete. It is such an amazing series. I know I already said that, but oh goodness, I love it so much. I have to reread it. I think sadly now, like some of the volumes are officially like out, out of print, which is sad because it's really, really good. Then I also have volume one of Short Susan, I think I'm saying that right, and this is a manga title I've wanted to read. I cannot recall what it's about off the top of my head, but it sounded like it was just something fun and something different. I have volumes one of those not, volumes one through three of those not so sweet boys. This has been a great series. It's very, very sweet. It's very, it's just very clean and very sweet. I, I really love this Monica's work. It's I have also Love and Focus 1 through 3, which is completed. And I don't know, sometimes, yeah, they're a little bit rushed, but I really do enjoy just her writing style, and I really like her main characters a lot. That's, like, one of my favorite parts, to be honest. Then I have the 1 and 2 omnibus, I should say, of Kuroko's Basketball, another one that I keep meaning to read and finish because Kagami is amazing, and, I, and Kuroko is, like... I feel like the shadow part side of my heart, if that makes sense. Hopefully you get the reference if you've seen the anime or read the manga. Then I have Volume 1 C Princess Azuri, which was never finished, unfortunately, by Tokyo Pop, but it is very good if you like mermaids. And you can find it pretty cheap on Amazon, so not the second volume, but the first volume you can. And then let's go down to my final shelf that I have. I have Spy X Family Volumes 1 through 5. Oh my goodness, as the manga sloth said in one of his videos recently, it deserves all the hype that it is getting. It is phenomenal. Highly, highly, highly recommend. I have Volume 1, I Swear I Won't Bother You Again, of the manga, not the light novel. I have not read this one yet, but I got this from my friend, well, not from my friend, from a recommendation from my friend Shoujo Selzman, I believe is her YouTube channel name and her handle on Instagram. She's very, very cool. Then I have Volumes 1 and 2 of Red Riding Hood and the Big Sad Wolf. This is complete not really supposedly there's supposed to be a volume three but i could not find any information on it so i don't think seven seas is printing it anymore very sad because it seemed like an interesting story i have volume one of fairy tale battle royale another excellent dark fantasy i got into this because of mave at mave at ever reading highly recommend it become you volume one i believe volume two is releasing here very soon or just released um, I have read a little bit of this one, and I think I'm a little bit on the fence, but that's just because I haven't sat down and actually, like, read it because I skimmed it. But I did like that it has a strong music aspect. Volume 1 of Mermaid Boys. I love this volume. I haven't read it in a few years, but it is very special to me because it's, like, one of the, like, first manga that I went out of my way to actually, like, buy. Then we have The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Volume 1. I got this just because it's Zelda. Hands down. That's that's it. <laughs> it's just Zelda. So I didn't actually know that this was ongoing. I believe nine, Volume 9 releases soon. So I'm like, I need to step it up and actually start reading this. Beauty Pop Volumes 1 through 10, which is complete. I loved this series. It was like my first big series review on this channel. It is so much fun. I love that it had a lot of the vibes of America's Next Top Model, which I loved watching growing up. I hate the drama on the show, so like the ending is the best part, just seeing the pictures. <laughs> Then I have my little bit of Japanese manga that I have. I have volumes one and two of Karate Heat, which is absolutely amazing. It is so good. I need to finish it. I didn't get volume three because it's three volumes and is complete and it's available digitally from Kodansha, but it is so, so good. I loved it so much. This one is the Springtime My Life Begin With You, which is also a digital title from Konacha. And I have my haiku illustration guide. This is the, like, not the big one that recently released. This is like the earlier one. I don't actually know when this released, but I really liked this one. And then I have Dive, volumes one through three, which is complete an excellent manga. It is in manga adaptation of the anime, which I believe is available on Amazon Prime. 
volume one of Magical Angel, Creamy Mommy, which I have not read yet. I saw that volume two released. I'm a little bit on the fence. I got it because I was on a Magical Girl kick, but then I just haven't picked it up since I bought it. I have volume four of Kitchen Princess or Omnibus of number four of Kitchen Princess because our library didn't have it. And I've seen a lot of people talk about how this is sort of like a classic. It's very good, but have not read it, have plans to. And then volume one of NC Wincy Monster. And for the last one, which my husband picked up or I encouraged him to, and that is Fist of the North Star. I love that it's in hardback. Hardback manga is awesome. And that, my friends, I believe, is all of the manga titles that I have. I really hope that you guys enjoyed that video and see my manga collection. It's just surreal to know that I have that much manga. Maybe that's not a lot in compared to others, but we should never compare our manga collections because you know when you have your own personal collection, no matter how small or big, it's special to you because it's manga titles that you love. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Totally let me know, did you guys see any of your favorites on my shelf? What are some recommendations where you're like, Laura, you need to get that on your shelf because it's so good. I would love to hear from you friends. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and thanks so much for watching. Bye.